There's a long list of new terms that we've had to learn these last 18 months or so. Pandemic protocols, social distancing, flattening the curve. Remember that? Zoom links and lately breakthrough cases. That's when someone who is fully vaccinated still gets infected with COVID-19. These breakthrough cases are becoming more common with the Delta variant becoming more common. It's now the dominant strain of the coronavirus in the US and in Idaho. So does that mean the vaccine doesn't work? Well, no. In fact, health experts are pointing to breakthrough cases and using it as more evidence for why you should get vaccinated. Why is that? Because yes, a fully vaccinated person can get COVID, likely more will, but getting the vaccine may keep you alive and out of the hospital. Here's Katya Stepovic. We ended up taking a family trip um, to Eastern Idaho and Yellowstone Park and that. Um, and when we returned um, is, is when we found out. James McGurdy's wife tested positive for COVID-19 days after they returned from their trip. She had been fully vaccinated since February. Why? We've done everything we're supposed to be. We wore masks when we were supposed to. We got vaccinated. How is this us? A couple days later, his mom tested positive for the virus too, and she was also fully vaccinated. While James never got tested, he's confident he had it. I did lose a uh, sense of taste and smell for a couple of days, not very long. My symptoms were very, very mild. We were shocked, um, again, because of everything that we'd read with, you know, the chances of getting it are very low. But as we have learned, while the chances of contracting the virus are low, it does happen. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare is reporting 1,154 breakthrough cases in Idaho. In late June, that number was 445. As is the case with any type of a vaccine, um, no vaccine is perfect, but so breakthrough cases will occur and they are occurring. Dr. John East, director of pulmonology and critical care services at St. Alphonse's, says not only are breakthrough cases very rare, but symptoms will be mild. Uh, what we really worry about are the serious infections where people's health is at threat or their life is at threat. And we know the vaccines are still protecting people who've been vaccinated from those problems. And, and it is very unusual um, to, to have a serious illness if you've been vaccinated. So, so the best protection, you know, far and away is, is to get the vaccine. Dr. East says when the level of infections in a community are high, the probability of the vaccinated getting infected increases. So the solution, he says, is simple. The studies have proven that not only they're safe, that they're effective, and the risk profile versus the benefit, it, it, it's, it's clearly well in favor of the benefit, right? The, the risks are negligible when you're talking about administering this vaccine to a broad population. As for James and his family, they credit the vaccine for keeping them out of the hospital and alive. I feel that yeah, we got sick, but the vaccine worked and that nobody was hospitalized. What the experts told us ended up helping us in the long run. Um, and despite the fact that we were a little scared when we first found out it was it was positive, you know, things turned out um, well for us. He doesn't know if they came down with the Delta variant or not, but Idaho Health and Welfare sent us this statement on the topic, saying in part, the Delta variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus does appear to be more likely to result in vaccine breakthrough infect infections than the variants that were circulating earlier in 2021. Dr. E says that the Delta variant accounts for more than 90% of the cases in the United States, and he says Idaho is no different. He urges those who are not vaccinated to do so, especially ahead of the new school year. Brian. And I think it was like of half the states in the country reporting these breakthrough cases regularly. Only about 1% of those are breakthrough cases of those vaccinated, only 1%. And then another number for you, Katya, the CDC says less than 0.001% of fully vaccinated people have died from a breakthrough case of COVID-19. So it's very, very small. Well, 95% of